Hello everybody, my name is Prophet and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Battle for the Bosporus, playing as the Ottoman Empire. Actually looking like a proper Ottoman Empire right now too. Would look better if Iraq would be nice enough to give me Jordan and Sinai like I'm asking, but so far they're saying absolutely not. Call that highly unfortunate. Um, I had talked about kicking them out of the faction at the end of the last video, and as some of you guys pointed out, that's not going to work. And the reason why is Iraq is already at war with the Allies, because, you know, I'm at war with the Allies. If I kick them out, then guess who they're just gonna join? Who's also at war with the Allies? That's right, the Axis. At which point, if I want to take out Iraq, I have to go fight the Axis, and that's just not looking very good. So, we're gonna stick with our current plan right, right now which is to uh, continue justifying on Saudi Arabia. We'll try to conquer some land out of this. I'm a little concerned that we're going to end up giving a lot of this stuff over to Iraq, which I'm not thrilled about, but, I mean, if we can somehow pull this off, I think it'll be all right. In the meantime, one thing we could do is try to set up a few naval invasions in a few key areas to try and get a bit more of an advance uh, against, uh, let's say, the UK down over here so we can push into Saudi Arabia a bit more effectively. So if I were to go from, let's say, right here to here, with 10 troops, apparently. Um, actually, wait. Let's let's break this up into a couple of smaller groups. I think that'd be smarter. Uh, let's do this from here to here. And then we'll do one, two, three from here to here. And then we'll do... Come on, deselect. You have to, like, deselect stuff in a dumb way, and sometimes that helps. Otherwise, it doesn't, like, actually reset the way you want it to. So we'll do something like that, and then uh, maybe one more from here to here, I guess. Okay, so that should be okay. Then we're going to take our navy, all of you, and we're going to remove this. And I'm going to say you guys are here to protect the Persian Gulf. And hopefully this ends up working. I'd like you all to move here if possible. Looks like they are all now moving in that direction. Good. I'm hoping they don't actually get taken out. Do we have a lot of... Oh, wait. Never mind. The Royal Navy's over there. Oh, uh, maybe we don't do that right now then. Um, I think we tell you guys to hold. I'll move you all down over here or now. I don't know. Whatever. For now, we can't do anything. If the Royal Navy's sitting right here, the answer is no. We can't do that right now. Uh, would have been nice, not actually going to be an option. What we could do, I suppose, is maybe a naval invasion. Do we have a port? There's no port over here, otherwise I was going to say we could try to land down over here by Yemen, but that looks like that's not going to be an option. Um, no, 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 cancel that, cancel that. Can we move you guys anywhere down over here? The answer is no. All right. Well, if it's going to be that way, we have some other options. So if we don't want to fight the Axis, what we could do is actually try to attack the Soviets and help the Axis actually win against the Soviets, and then take whatever we can uh, to try and actually build up some sort of um, uh, industrial base, and then while the Germans fight the U.S., maybe we can do something. Or we wait until the Germans are really truly in the deep of it with the Soviet Union, then we attack the Germans. Certainly an option. The only downside of that being, um, if by the time we are done with killing the Germans, and let's suppose we're successful, which I don't say that we will be, that still leaves me at war with the Allies. The Soviets are not going to be at out of war with the Allies, so they're not going to care. So that's still going to be a little bit awkward. Um, it, it might make more sense to attack the Soviets and see if we can assist the Germans. But even if I take out the Germans, guess what? After that, I'm still stuck against the Allies, so I don't know. Um, it's really hard to say what the right course of action is going to be. I do know, no matter what, I'm going to wish that I had a few more troops. So let's go ahead and start training up at least a few more infantry. Even if it is just 20 combat with infantry, it's going to have to do. Um, and I would like more Mountaineers. We can get one more of those. That'll be helpful. And then I think I hold off on anything else for the moment. How are we looking in terms of equipment? A little on the low side. Only 40 factories right now is just not going to cut it. That's the simple fact of it. It's really not going to be enough. We're going to have to start uh, importing some extra materials to try and improve that a little bit. want to make sure we are building up that efficiency and producing as much equipment as possible, but yeah. I'm trying to build up some factories, but it can only do so much. The other thing I really need to focus on is building a load of forts on the border of the Axis so that I can defend all this territory, and when we do eventually go to war against the Germans while they're fighting the Soviets, hopefully, they leave themselves super duper vulnerable, and uh, we can resist their initial attacks, or we can make some pushes. But I'm going to wish that I had some forts. 
That's another thing I would like to do. Am I going to get to? Hard to say. I don't know. I, I don't see this going well. I think this may be only a couple of videos left, but we'll see. Uh, one thing we could try to do is send some troops over to assist against um, the British Raj. Where are you guys currently going? All right, the naval invasions I've been talking about, right. Uh, do we set up over here and just try to help them push? Depends. What's your supply look like? Uh, at the moment, this is acceptable. Yeah, I think we can do this. Uh, if it looks like we're going to have some trouble, though, we'll pull back. Let's see if we can assist against the uh, British Raj. Try and knock some of that out. I wish they would give me control of the state so I could get all the um, extra uh, manpower and such, but mm, oh well. How are we doing as far as our spies? We should be doing okay-ish on resistance right now. Eh, I say that. We're still having some issues in northern Yugoslavia. So, by the way, I found out, apparently some of these decisions are bugged. And or does something's wrong. So apparently, when they say core all French states in Syria, they actually mean apparently Kuwait, down over here, is one of the states you have to control in order to be able to press the button. Supposedly. Which is obviously not right. Supposedly also one of the ones over here in like southern Greece and everything else is also messed up. Don't know if that's completely true, but maybe. I really need to control Jordan, dude. You need to give me that. You need to give me that now. Yeah, this is the one that's supposed to have Kuwait. I don't know why it's acting all weird like that, but it is. All right, anyway. Um, let's see. Iraq, you already like me about as much as I could hope. Um, ask for control of states. Please give me Jordan. Gosh dang, you're just... Look, why? What are your reasons? Like, if I look at this, it'll say yes, and then it says no. Iraq thinks would ha handing it over would give me an unfair share of occupied territory. Maybe that means I just need to do more damage. If I do more damage and I get more war score, maybe they'll see that that's appropriate. So in that case, maybe that's one reason to get down here to the British Raj. I don't feel a lot of hope in that regard, but maybe, I don't know. They're sending more ships over here, by the way. I have a sneaky feeling that the U.S. is going to try to do a naval invasion of Iran. Which is interesting. Um, and if that is the case, well, I'm going to be glad that I have some troops here to repel. So, anything else I want to do as far as improving my agencies? Maybe. Uh, defenses, suicide pills won't do me much good right now. Trying to get um, some sort of collaboration government would be awesome. Set some of those up, you know? But, mm, not sure there's anything that actually improves the odds of something like that happening. Stealing blueprints of better fighters or tanks would be awesome. I don't think there's anything I can improve here that really is going to make a massive difference for me. Aside from maybe some counterintelligence. Seems very optional. Very optional. Um... Armor research speed, speed and reliability as opposed to just soft attack and armor. Like, this seems like a really good design company. I think I will pick that up, because I do, if I could just get more factories together, I do really want to start getting some tanks. Tanks are my only real hope for a sustained push against somebody like the, uh, against somebody like the Germans. It's really the only hope that I've got. I also really need to start getting some anti-air, and I'm going to need this towed anti-tank, right? And for that reason, I just need, again, more and more of these dang factories. And this is where getting all that compliance together so I can start getting factories from my occupied states make a big difference. This is where finally getting cores on all this stuff would make a big difference. But so far, we have not been granted any of that. I do have enough equipment and manpower we could try to swap over to civilian oversight, at least in some places, like Greece is not that threatening right now. So we could do something like that. Kurdistan is still being a little bit problematic, but it's not the worst. Everywhere else is not costing me much of anything right now. Yugoslavia is an issue. I need to be building up the uh, occupation of the compliance here, but their resistance is actually a problem. Admittedly. So yeah, I don't like that, but a lot of these other folks, um, like Bulgaria and such, like maybe I do need to go to civilian oversight just so I can try to get up some compliance. Albania, probably the same deal. We'll watch this. If it looks like it's proving to be a problem, I can always stomp down harder on it. But for now, let's try that. In the meantime, my troops are starting to arrive on the front line. Starting to. Going to be a little bit unfortunate. Um, can we please set up a quick fallback line right over here? 
in a different supply zone, so if I have to pull some troops back, we can do so safely and quickly. <sighs> Taking out the British Raj would be a pretty big advantage. It would. Um, if I controlled it and got compliance, it'd be even better. You know? But I don't think we're going to get to do that. I'm trying to decide if there's a better way I could use my spies. Instead of all of this, you know? Forget Greece and the resistance for a little bit since right now we're okay. Do I instead say, hey, let's go spy on somebody so we can build up a collaboration government and make them capitulate really, really fast? Fun thought, uh, but maybe not. How are we looking as far as the war against the Germans and the Soviets? Right now, pretty even. Uh, the Germans have lost a lot of men, but that's also partly against the Allies. The Soviets are going to lose a lot. But that doesn't matter too much, because they've got an absolute freaking ton of manpower they can field. Still, it's surprisingly even. I'm not nearly going to be enough to tip the balance of power in this. I don't know, guys. Um, I'm kind of feeling like my only options at this point might be to actually say, screw it, we actually do want to attack the Soviets. Attack through northern Iran. Try to take as much as we can, but I don't think we're going to get much in the way of war score unless we can push up here toward Moscow. I just don't see that being a very good thing for us to do. Still, at least it gets me potentially more factories. And manpower, a lot more manpower that I can use against the Germans. Until the US is beaten. At which point I pray that I have enough manpower fielded that I can indeed fight back on the Germans. Does that feel likely? Because it sure as hell doesn't feel likely to me. Alright, I'm going to take you, and we're going to start spying on the Soviets. It will likely take me a good amount of time to be able to set up some sort of collaboration government. That's my only hope, because a collaboration government setup would make it easier for them to capitulate. Uh, and also, I'd have a lot more compliance, which means I would start with a lot more manpower and factory access. That'd be huge. I'm going to hold off on this because right now we are working on the doctrines, so I'm going to ignore you. Uh, as far as, let's see, it's September of 1941. Um, more resources would be helpful. Getting ahead on some of these texts would be helpful. Military police, I'm going to go ahead and boost up for some extra suppression value just because that's already proving to be a problem. And I can free up my spies if we don't worry about that. Oh, Troops are very slowly there. trickling to the front line. They're really taking their sweet time, aren't they? What kind of terrain is this, by the way? These are all mountains. Of course they're mountains. Why wouldn't they be? The most difficult and costly terrain for me. Okay. Assembly line production means some more uh, productivity, more efficiency. That's good. Uh, we're not using any other companies, so they're not going to do me much. Start working on tanks, maybe? Yeah, it's time to start working on at least getting the tech for the tanks. How are we doing with this IMRO? Almost done with them, finally. Then I can focus my troops on some other things. I'll be able to disband all this nonsense. And we'll get our cores back over here, which actually should help a little bit as far as our um, problems with factories and so on. Yes, I'm going to actually sign a pact of non-aggression with the Germans. In this case, it actually does make some sense. Iran, I think I just heard that you have a naval invasion. Indeed, you do. Okay, this is actually fine. What I'm going to do is set up a quick fallback line right along here. And assign uh, you guys. No, actually, you were fine where you were. Let's keep you over here. So this is going to send the other guys who didn't have any naval invasion orders. We're going to move them over here. So this is the naval invasion you're going for. I'm hoping if you fail this, you're going to back off with the Navy. That'd be ideal. Let's see what happens. They're going to retreat. They did land over here, actually. Okay. So now, now we've got a little bit of an issue. Forget this. This is no longer relevant. Instead, set up a proper offensive right there. And we're going to have to get rid of them off of these ports before they are able to reinforce a lot more. Japan declares war on the Dutch East Indies. That does mean that they should be at war with all of the Allies, or they're about to be, as well as the United States. So Japan's now taking on a lot of guys. Uh, they haven't made a lot of progress in China, to be honest. The Chinese United Front is actually holding fairly well against Japan, so Japan's kind of weak, this game. Pretty weak. I really don't know what they're doing there. 
Still, all right, so these guys are getting entrenched. The US officially joins the UK's faction, which means we are gonna be at war with the US very shortly. That's good, that's great, that's awesome. I love seeing that, thank you. Hey, factories. Okay, so we have some fighters coming in. We do need to be getting this anti-air. I need to start working anti-air into a lot of my divisions so that I will be able to at least hold back the air advantage that the uh, Germans and other such folks will have. These guys are officially done, which means we got our factories back, which is why we actually just got a few right there. So you guys actually all can just get disbanded. Get my equipment back, get my manpower back, do something else. All right, so that's all taken care of. Um. So logistically, Hurting for equipment kind of across the board. We're losing a lot of equipment for some reason. I can't say I really understand why we're losing this much equipment. Am I taking attrition down here? No. Where am I taking attrition? Here. Why are you guys taking attrition as you move? I don't know, but they are. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just go ahead and keep pushing these guys back out. See if we can assist over here. Looks like he doesn't actually have very many troops to spare. So he should be able to assist with this. Take you out quick. There we go. All right. So that was dealt with. Has your navy retreated? It has. So this is where I now take the navy. And I say I want you guys to do naval invasion support up over here. So they're going to try to move through here. And we're going to pray that the Royal Navy is going to stay out of my way. At least for a bit. Long enough that I can get in over here. Saudi Arabia, we're about halfway done with our justification. I would like to take them out. They'll likely join the allies. But it would be a chance for me to get a fair bit more land. Uh, I'd like to not call Iraq in, but I don't see that happening. Japan, I'm not worried about a non-aggression pact with you. You're not really a threat to me, at least not as of yet. So we're going to ignore that nonsense. Anything else that I need to do? Not really. Just double-checking. We could subsidize some more factories. I'm aware of that, but eh. Not right now, not right now. Is this another naval invasion I see coming in? Oh, and the Royal Navy's back. Okay. So we actually want to dock you guys up and not engage. Did we just lose some ships? I feel like we lost some ships. This is down to nine. Wasn't this higher than this earlier? Maybe I'm wrong. Could be wrong on that. Whatever, we're just going to go on hold for now. Let's wait until we've dealt with all of this. Uh, real quick, I'm going to send a couple of you guys over here just to help with the repelling of them. So we got the land doctrine bonuses, so that's done. Factories, yes. We do need a couple more factories. You guys can actually push right here. You guys go ahead and push him out. That should not last long. If we can get this reinforcement in here to ward them off, that's going to prevent them from getting a port as long as these guys hold on just a little bit longer. These guys will die. Should not be a problem. I'm surprised they're holding on as long as they are. This isn't a port, is it? No. Help over here. Let's make sure we finish them off. He's trying to push out, but he's just going to waste his own organization in the process. Where are my planes? Planes? There's actually a good airport right over here. It's a little bit too far away to be useful in some areas that I want, though, so we can't use you to get more naval supremacy. We call that unfortunate. Okay, some of the ships are backing off. He's all... he's dead, so we're just gonna have you turn around. You, we lack intelligence. Assign more navies. I don't have intelligence? Looks like I've got intelligence. You go on patrol right now. 35%. If I had, my, if I was able to place my uh, air base or my, um, my air force in there, that would actually be enough. You, for some reason, are having a hard time getting through, but you should be able to if we just tell you to. Yeah, nowhere near enough at the moment as far as naval supremacy. Nowhere near enough. I don't actually know how much I want to push through this right now. Um, my general doesn't feel very confident. I don't feel very confident in these mountains either. So unless you've got very little equipment to work with... The UK, for some reason, is running low on equipment, it looks like, in a couple areas. That's bizarre. 
Um, Iran is absolutely out of equipment for like all of their infantry. So that's fun. Let's go ahead and back some of them up. What are we wasting in terms of equipment? Still wasting equipment right now. Just from the raw attrition of moving people around. That's brutal, dude. Alright, you guys, no missions. I need to start saving some fuel. You guys have arrived. Go on hold. You guys should now both be in the Persian Gulf. I don't have a lot in the way of fuel, so we need to trade for some oil in order to start building that up. Soviets, for now, we'll just go ahead and trade with you in order to start getting some. How are you doing against the Germans? So far, kind of okay, actually. You're holding the line. They've lost a million, but the Germans have lost roughly the same amount in this push. I mean, if the Soviets can hold the line and just exhaust the Germans, we can do something with that. It won't be easy, but I can do something with it. Hmm. Um, I do really wish Iran could build a airbase down here. I wish that I could build one for them. That would also be nice. United Kingdom has decrypted my ciphers. That doesn't matter, but okay. I'm glad you're wasting your time on me. Thank you for proving that I am, in fact, important. Naval invasion supports. We're getting out into the Gulf. And it's still not going to be enough. We are sitting at 44.6%. I need them to pull back at least a little bit more. Uh, range. It's an often overlooked feature on these planes, but it is oh so very, very crucial. If you want to do anything. Yeah, so I need you to pull the heck out. Alright, so you guys just go on hold then. I'm just going to go ahead and save the fuel, save the organization, don't do anything, and I'm just going to do a jump cut, because there's nothing for me to do for a while. Hold up. He now has three or five ships in here. I think that actually is enough for me to go ahead and get the naval supremacy. Let's go for the naval invasion, uh, invasion support. And off we go. Okay, he pulled back just enough ships, and now I can go for it. Perfect. This is what I wanted. Uh, I think we'll be able to win this. This at least gives me a land border against Saudi Arabia, so I can do some pushing. I need to get as much of this territory as possible because this is how I'm going to get some of these cores. Obviously, it could be very helpful. Some of your ch troops are trying to back off. Amusing. Um, quick question. If I were to do a tiny little hop, skip, and a jump from... Well, hang on. Let's just grab you, one of you. Naval invasion here to here. I need to first finish landing over here, it looks like. Let me just finish that real quick, but I'm hoping maybe we can do a quick little jump over here and grab this as well. I imagine we can. Uh, let's do one of you to here. And the other one can do also a naval invasion from here to here. They're technically separate, only one each, so they're going to go really fast. No units assigned to the order. Is that true, though? Mm, apparently. Whatever. It's fine. So, there we go. We just made a little bit more of a push in here. Uh, if we could get down to Oman, that is also some potentially corrible territory. I believe... Let's take a quick look-see down over here. Uh, that's Cairo, Jaws, Yemen, Aden. These are things we want, yes. If we were to get all of these... Yeah, this state, this state, this state. That's several cores I could take. You know, cores are good. Um... So hang on, we can cancel this, and I need to set up at least a couple more naval invasions to go over here, because he does in fact have some troops now. So let's do that. I'm going to quickly build an air base over here, because I see that as being helpful, so I actually can get my planes on the front line if we want. That would make a big difference. And for the record, it looks like the Soviets might be starting to fall apart a little bit on this front line. The U.S. needs to do a D-Day. If they don't do that, the Germans can beat the Soviets in the early game. Basically, early momentum always favors the Germans. Always favors the Germans. If they want to go for something else, or rather, if uh, you can hold back the Germans long enough and everyone does their part to take them down... That's how they fall apart. Otherwise, the Axis is always poised to win the game. A little lack of coordination. A delayed Soviets. The U.S. being lazy. 
It's all it takes, and all of a sudden, you'll lose them. Oh, cool. The Germans actually just gave Slovakia over to Hungary for some reason. Huh. That's unusual. Unexpected. Okay, we can get some planes in over here at the Persian Gulf, and that is indeed enough to get me the naval supremacy that I need to escort some troops over here, so we can take this out real quick. And that's gonna be one more staging ground removed for them. Uh, an agent was captured. Well, crap. <sighs> one job. One job not to get m murdered, and you couldn't even do that. All right, fine. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and send you, and we're gonna commence when ready. Go, save the idiot spy. Justification of conquering Nejd is complete. Nejd is this state right here. Um, Iraq, quick question. Do you feel like I have done enough in the war at this point um, to give me Jordan? Nope. Sinai? Nope. Kuwait? Nope. They don't. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm just gonna wait for the rest of my troops to get over here, and then we're just gonna go kill Saudi Arabia. They're expecting to get attacked from Iraq. That's fine. Hopefully Iraq doesn't actually make any progress here until I can take control of all these states myself. I guess I can also go ahead and start justifying a war against Yemen, just in case I am able to pick up Hejaz, and I can get these three states together, since we'll take out the UK in the process. That could be helpful. All right, most of my troops still arriving, getting up to these front lines. We should be about, yep, we are done getting our airfields together, so let's send the rest of my fighters. Actually, we can keep a few up here, that's fine. Uh, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and add on some more close air support. We managed to build up at least a little bit of an air force. I'm fairly proud of that arrangement, that's not bad. And our manpower is going up. How are we doing as far as the compliance of a few key areas? Albania's uh, resistance is continuing to become a problem, but we're almost up to 25%, at which point we reduce the number of garrisons needed. We did reach that with Greece, which is good. Kurdistan, we've got all the factories. Lebanon, getting close to access to the factories. Palestine, no, not yet. Qatar, at 50%. I don't know why we managed to get 50% compliance with Qatar right off the bat. But that's great. Syria is already a core, so this is no longer really an issue. And then United Arab Emirates, we're already over 50% there too. I'm not sure why we got that much compliance there, but they are quite happy to have been liberated, apparently. Non-aggression pact from Japanese Micronesia. I beg your pardon? You guys created, like, a weird little independent state? What did you create? Who the heck is Jap- These guys! Oh, I don't think I've ever seen them create Japanese Micronesia. That's new to me. Weird. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and declare war against Saudi Arabia. I'm not going to be calling in my allies, though I imagine they are going to immediately join the Axis. I'm going to tell you guys to be aggressive. Go immediately for his capital province up there. Start heading up this direction. We're going to try to cut him off wherever possible. I need some of you guys to go here and some of you guys to go here. Looking for victory points more than anything else. Some of you guys get down over here nice and quick. We're going to try to uh, preempt the UK from getting involved. Saudi Arabia does join the Allies. Expected. Bulgarian reintegration campaign in the Balkans. I uh, Okay. Well, um, that's gonna be awkward for you, given that I have literally no intention of letting you do that. The Balkans are effectively mine. You're the holdout here. You want unification of the Balkans? Fine. Join my empire. That would be the best thing for you to do. But no, me think if you're not gonna. How are we doing on equipment? We're starting to build back up a little bit, okay. Uh, can we add on at least a couple more offensive infantry? They're gonna have some artillery, of course, but that helps a teensy-weensy bit. We can still afford that much. Let's throw on at least a few more. Um, doesn't seem... Is this not updating? There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so that did use up a lot of equipment. Can't go much more than that. We did finish some excavation tech, which does mean I have a lot more local resources. It is December. I'm gonna go for the research upgrade. As far as trade is concerned, I am shocked that we're not much better off. Did I not extract more than this, or am I immediately exporting all of it? Am I crazy? My resource gain efficiency doesn't appear to have made, like, any meaningful difference. I thought at least I'd get some more steel. Maybe we're automatically exporting. If that is the case, then what we need to do is actually get away from free trade and go to, like, an export focus or even limited exports. Start keeping some of this for myself. It's just that exporting all the chromium has been extremely advantageous. 
Um, Iraq is starting to lose some ground over here in Jordan to the UK and Saudi Arabia. That's fine. I'm hoping that they lose control of it. Um, in fact, what would be good for me... No, Iraq's going to get this back. These guys are surrounded. That's not going to matter. The good news is Iraq is handing this stuff over. So, at least for the moment, they understand that I insist on having all this land for myself. Now, granted, that's probably because Najd is what I claimed. Or Nejd, sorry. I don't know if they're going to give me Hejaz. I certainly hope that they do. But we'll see. You guys are all set to be aggressive, so I don't see any reason for you guys not to be pushing super duper hard against these guys. You go up here along the coast. Let's knock them out from that position as well. Some of you actually turn around down over here. Let's see if we can kick out the UK before they can do much. Is this part of the state of Aden, technically? It is. Might have to do a little bit of a naval invasion down over there. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do non-aggression pact against Bulgaria. Bulgaria is my way to fight against the Axis if I want to. All right, supporting the East gets infrastructure. We can learn how to do camels. How badly do I really want camels as opposed to, let's say, going down more of this focus here? Like, we could start going for mechanized and start getting uh, research for light tank models as well as some more factories. Could also get bonuses for more mountaineers. Support artillery. Forts in a state. In a dern. That's a very specific place to be. Expand the sea bases. Get some air bases. Instruct the proper use of modern infrastructure. Yeah, all of that. Eventually get some bonuses, I think, towards submarines. Yep. There's a lot of this stuff that I would like to have. Um... A bonus to light tanks doesn't do me a lot of good unless I don't plan on going for mediums because I can't afford mediums, but I can't afford light tanks. That might be actually my only option, as much as I think mediums are better in every possible way. Huh. As opposed to finding out what camels can do. I'll be honest, I don't think this is better, but I'm going to go down this route just because... I, I kind of want to find out what camels are up to. I want to find out what I can do with the camel, dang it. I'm curious. All right? I'm very curious what you can do with your camels. More steel, please. Thank you. Need some rubber. Vichy France is no longer trading with me. Okay, how about Siam? Can you trade? Thank you. As far as construction and stuff, I mean, we're still holding even as far as how many factories I have to work with because we're still trading about as much as I'm gaining. So that's good. You guys should all be heading off to Medina, right? You guys get up to Medina. Let's see if we can get these guys to capitulate nice and quick. Nice and quick. Got our upgrade toward the military police. That's good. Um, I think we need to start working on upgrades to our infantry equipment, because that's obviously the most impactful as far as our strength. I'm a little concerned that, yes, indeed, Iraq is taking a single piece of Hejaz. I'm going to have to ask them to give me cr uh, control of that as well. Trying to get into some of this. Um, Iraq, would you be willing to give me control of Hejaz, please? No. Um, Jordan? No. They're not willing to give me a thing. Gosh, these guys are such jerks. Um, I really wish Iraq had just not joined the faction so that I could have gone for a uh, puppet war goal against them and just controlled them that way. Would have been better for me. Significantly better for me. But alas, that is not what they chose to do. God, I also wish that I had some sort of um, motorized so I can move a lot faster. Tell me you guys are staying put. Okay, so not getting any more of this. Nope, don't take more of Hejaz. It just makes it harder for me later. Saudi Arabia, I need you to capitulate right now. There's Medina gone. Are you done? I'm going to guess no, you're not, are you? Oh, they gave this one to me. Why'd they give this one to me, but they wouldn't give this one over? How the AI decides what to lose control of is a mystery, but I guess that's what they choose to do. There goes Saudi Arabia. All right, so we control all this, and they did give me Hejaz. Okay, so if we can take over Yemen, which I'm currently justifying on, that is going to be another set of cores for me, as long as I can grab a den real quick down over here, which I think we can. Iraq. Dude. Jordan. I need it. God, you're such an ass. All right, well, uh, I think this is probably going to be where I have to end this video. Could spend some civilian factories to get a lot more stuff that we can export. Uh, this is actually a great deal. Yeah, we'll do that for the chromium deposits. Um, but beyond that, I don't know. Um, we're still sort of in a weird stuck position. 
How's the Soviets doing? They're not, they're not holding well, but they are somewhat holding. They're losing ground, but not rapidly. So that's good at the very least. Afghanistan's making no push down over here. We're not getting anywhere over here. Yeah, there's, there's just no hope in this area. No hope at all. Oman, if only I could own you too. Man, that'd be great. 185 days, though. I can fabricate against majors very quickly. I can fabricate against the Soviets pretty quick, and that's while I'm still so uh, fabricating on somebody else. So if you want to get involved in this, quickly we can. But, it's proving to be a little bit tricky. And of course I have to rescue my stupid captured operative since he's an idiot and got himself captured. Did you not speak good enough Russian? Is that what happened? I don't know. Anyway, Yemen's at 50% for compliance already too. What is going on with all of that? And why is Yugoslavia being so difficult for me to contain? I don't know anymore, man. I don't know. Alright, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Alright.